7 a.m. on a February morning. The Harbor Key is a cold, damp, and foggy place. Nevertheless, the Francis Barkley seems to be a popular winter attraction. Good morning. We're on the uh, line to get about a thousand people through here in the month of February. And they're on a miniature vacation for the day and people are very positive and even when the weather's not pretty it doesn't seem to matter this month. And according to the Chamber of Commerce, it's businesses like Mike's that keep Alberni's winter tourism season afloat. February is full and um, absolutely full. I think it's hard to get tickets so he's proving that in fact there is tourism. and. Um, well, the spin-off, of course, there's uh, there's likely going to be hotel stays um, and, um, and, of course, restaurants. So those two are directly related. But then there's retail. There's uh, shops in Harbour Quay and all through Uptown and Johnston Road. They're all going to feel the impact of Mike filling his boat. No doubt about it. But where are these tourists coming from? And why in February? <laughs> well, you have to do something in February, so... I rounded up a bunch of my friends and um, yeah, we all decided we're just going to spend the day going to Banfield. Well, we're from Mill Bay, uh, the Cobble Hill, Shawnigan Lake area, and we're, well, we're taking a day on the, uh, on the Lady Rose. So this is uh, a great part of the world to, uh, to explore and uh, one doesn't have to go too far afield to see some great stuff, so we're hoping to see wildlife. Okay, okay. So maybe cold, damp, foggy places in February aren't so bad after all. And you know, Mike says that the fog doesn't last all day long. Well, we're counting on today about an hour into the trip that what usually happens is they'll get under the sun in about an hour. Um, it's not a fun time of year for the office staff here because the ship's crew come back with suntan lines and we're still wearing long johns. In Port Alberni, I'm Jenny Fortin.